Disclaimer, these videos are meant to be a brief overview of the subject. They are written to meet time constraints while still conveying factual historical information. My sources for each video are in the video summary below and can get you started on a more in-depth look at the subject. On a personal note, if there is a way to mispronounce the name, I will do it. It is a gift and I am sorry about it ahead of time. Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Parker's Crossroads, located in Henderson County, Tennessee, on December 31st. 1862. Confederate General Forrest's mission had been to disrupt the Union lines. He did this prior to December 31st by destroying railroad lines supplying the Union Army between Jackson and Union City. No supplies would come through here until March of 1863. After his successful sabotage, he took his men south to try and cross the Tennessee River and found Union General Sullivan waiting for him, trying to trap his units before they could cross. Union gunboats awaited Forrest along with 10,000 soldiers. The forces collided on December 31st as Union Colonel Cyrus L. Dunham's brigade had been securing Parker's crossroads. They had been attempting to block Forrest and his Confederate troops. Fighting erupted in the northwest at Hicks Field. Forrest's cannons unloaded at close range and the impact pushed Dunham's forces back south of the crossroads. While Dunham attempted to recoup and reorganize his men, Confederate General Forrest ordered an advance and the Confederates moved forward. Forrest's troops managed to hit Dunham's rear, and just as the Union line collapsed, Forrest issued an order to surrender to Dunham. Dunham refused to surrender. U the Union reinforcements arrived under the command of U.S. Colonel John W. Fuller and slammed into the rear of the Confederate troops. Forrest attempted to take on a new Union force as well, but he realized soon that he was outnumbered and continued to flee past both Dunham's troops and the new Union reinforcements. Forrest was able to cross the river on January 1st, allowing his men to retreat, recoup, and gather the reserves for the fighting that would come in 1863. The Union lost 237 men that were killed, wounded, or captured, while the Confederates lost more than 500 killed, wounded, or missing during the fight. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Yeah.